boy have I learned a lot in the last five months. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Tay from Garrett and Tay, and today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what has been going on with Salted Road, why things have taken so long, what the setbacks have been, how we've gotten through them, all that kind of stuff. I don't have a plan or anything. I kind of just want to talk through it to explain because it I don't even have it written down. Like it's gonna be hard for me to remember everything that happened, but it's really difficult because a lot of people don't understand all that goes into starting a business and all the logistics and the permits in the city and working with the city and all that stuff can be kind of complicated at times and by kind of I mean very complicated at times. I'm gonna bring you guys back to shipping the trailer here and I'm gonna insert pictures wherever I have them. I don't remember exactly what I have but I have a ton of stuff on my phone just taking pictures throughout the whole process because I don't want to forget everything that we've gone through in the past five six months and I want you guys to see the reality of like what really has been happening. I've kind of been like barely telling you what's going on with the trailer because two things I've been trying to figure things out and so it doesn't really help me to tell you guys every single thing that's happening because a lot of you have opinions and although some of you are helpful a lot of you are not helpful it really just kind of sucks to hear more negativity in the middle of trying to figure something difficult out the second thing is I was just trying to keep myself positive which literally goes along with the first thing I was trying to just figure it out and I didn't want to like just keep talking about it because I'm very much the type of person where I'm like okay we have a problem we have to fix it complaining about it being stressed out about it doesn't fix it granted I'm human I still kind of complain about stuff and get frustrated but not for very long because our trailer was getting built in Arkansas our builder's name is Mark and he's great I want to clear something up here and be straight with you because all the issues we've had a lot of people are like oh well blah, 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 like blaming Mark for it he's been awesome and he's been in touch with us this whole time and he's been surprised by what's happened I'll explain more of that through the process of this story too he definitely legally doesn't have to help us anymore like we signed a contract for him to be done when we got the trailer or when he was finished with the trailer but he's been on the phone contacting people from the city and stuff these whole past five months even though he didn't have to so I'm trying to remember back when this stuff happened right now it's April of 2019 back in December of 2018 that's when Garrett and I were getting married so it was kind of just crazy timing we were getting ready for the wedding my parents were like doing stuff to their house they were remodeling their house and I was living with my parents at the time we we're getting ready for family to come into town personal life stuff doesn't really matter except that that's why it was so hard to organize everything we found a shipper that was recommended to us by someone else we knew contacted them and actually I got different quotes from different people and some of the quotes were like really high some of them were really low I definitely am a believer that you get what you pay for so if you pay like barely anything you're probably not gonna get that good of service so we ended up picking the person priced it in the middle it sounded like they all gave the same service but they were the most reasonably priced they weren't too cheap and they weren't too expensive I called them and they actually were like super nice and excited about this at first basically they didn't know what was going on I didn't know what was going on either this is Keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I've never had to ship a vehicle or ship a trailer for that matter. We're actually more susceptible to damage than a vehicle because stuff is like bolted in and we have tiles and we have machinery, very expensive machinery in there, not just like a car that's like secure. You know what I mean? We needed to have it on a flatbed trailer on the back, which is more expensive, but that saves the tires from being worn and stuff on the travel. And it's the middle of the winter. So there was snow, there were storms, all of that stuff to keep in consideration. I was already nervous about the travel and all of that but the company was originally gonna bring the trailer the week of the wedding and I said no which would have been great to have it early but that week was just so crazy planning our wedding we didn't get the trailer that week we planned to get it by the end of December and I we were getting married on the 15th going on our honeymoon having Christmas and I wanted it on the 26th or 27th they were willing to bring it on Christmas or the day after Christmas they were just gonna charge us more to travel during a holiday my only goal was that I wanted it before the end of 2018 which didn't happen the guy didn't tell me that they subcontracted out drivers I thought he was driving it this whole time because he would say yeah all blah 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 whatever he would say I but really he meant like the driver they were subcontracting out which maybe that's obvious news to other people but I like I've said never done this before I had no idea so I thought this whole time that guy was like trustworthy and I thought he could do it and what ended up happening didn't know where his driver was he had a driver that was supposed to bring it on the 29th I think of December we had just gotten done at the wedding and I was like all right let's roll on this get this done every time I called I never got contact information for the driver for whatever reason I don't know they just never gave it to me maybe I should have asked I don't know why I didn't have it but I didn't the guy would tell me all these things about the updates and it sounded like he was organized and knew what he was doing I'd ask him where the driver was and he was like oh well he's finishing up a trip from this state and like 
they can only do trips in the middle of other trips you know what i mean they have to go gas up get a new trailer whatever and he had the dimensions and stuff of all of my trailer and all the equipment they had a weird feeling about this driver because i didn't know it was subcontracted out so like i said mark has been involved in this whole process because he's more experienced than i am and he's like a good friend of ours so he's been helping he ended up getting on the phone with a with the driver because they would be picking it up from his house so he was on the phone with them and he calls me and he's like dude I don't want to like rain on your parade even more because I know that I just keep hitting roadblock after roadblock which is so frustrating he's like I just don't trust this driver I don't think that they're gonna be very good I don't think they're gonna take care of your equipment and all that stuff the guy just kind of sounded really sloppy and on the phone he just didn't trust him so I was like okay well I trust you enough to trust your judgment and it really would be foolish of me even though I want it as soon as possible to trust a driver that really might not be that professional he's like just so you know also they're subcontracting out drivers so like these guys aren't professionally trained by any means that we know of they're just people that they hired to ship stuff across the country represent that other company but like they haven't been trained through them or anything really that company didn't know anything about this driver either i was never informed about that so that really upset me it's just been a crap show around here all this stuff happening all of december even the beginning of january that all, all of this is happening it's like back and forth back and forth they didn't have a driver they didn't know when another one could blah 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 blah, blah. the company ended up telling me too they were concerned about that driver didn't trust them and i'm like well then why were you gonna hire them just seems ridiculous then they found a new driver but this is the guy we ended up using and i'm not going to call out his name because it's just like <sighs> this is a mess too and this guy was coming from i think minnesota or wisconsin or something north and had to drive down to texas i think he was he lived somewhere down south needed to drive down to drop some kind of trailer off and then was going to drive to arkansas and then drive to washington in the middle of winter so like there was a storm he was stuck up at north and so that put us back another day or two or whatever which it's like it literally is one thing after another and it's stuff that you can't help so this is why it took so long for us even to get the trailer it took him a while to get back down there he actually was in contact with me and sounded kind of like a rough guy he was really nice but just kind of just kind of rough like not super professional sounding but i'm like okay he, he's a driver like i don't really expect him to have the best customer service ever but i just appreciated that he was actually keeping me updated on where my trailer was where he was and all this stuff because we're paying them so much money to ship it at this point he's still working with that other company they subcontracted out him but the company didn't know anything i would call them and be like hey where's the driver and they're like oh we don't know we'll find out hang up never hear from them again next day i'm like hey you never told me where the driver is where is he and they'd be like oh he's almost there and i'm like okay well where is he oh i don't know I'm like can you figure it out and they're like yeah and they started to get annoyed with me which really frustrated me because i am paying them to ship my property to me and they were kind of acting like i was a nuisance they weren't keeping me in the loop on anything kind of it went on literally for about a week and a half of that they literally told me at one point i called them every single day they never returned my calls they never updated me on stuff i don't even know how they have a good review maybe i just had the bad guy i don't know and i'm like dude like where is my trailer this is ridiculous you've been t like literally for five days he would tell me my trailer was being picked up and it never got picked up no one knew where the driver was i'm like you don't know where your drivers are so that's when i eventually asked for the driver's number and i contacted him directly that last day too when i asked for his number i'm like so where's the trailer and he goes oh he, he picked it up yesterday it's on the way i was like well that would have been nice to know you know i want to know when it's picked up and if it went okay and all of that but keep in mind i'm friends with mark so i call mark and i'm like did the trailer get picked up and he's like no it's still here nice okay so it's still at his house the owner of the business thinks it was picked up doesn't even know where his drivers are at is not keeping tabs on them or anything i feel like he just got my deposit and then his work was done and he wasn't gonna be helpful anymore i ended up calling him and basically firing them and i was like you know you have not been helpful you don't know where your drivers are and i found another driver i didn't tell them that i actually ended up working directly with that driver because he actually kept in contact with me. I don't know if there's any good drivers out there anyway because they all kind of are crap shows. This one really didn't go over that well anyway. He at least got the trailer to us and he at least contacted me every single day to tell me where he was at first. It gets worse. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you this. Okay, so they had the dimensions for my trailer. They actually sent the driver to pick up from Texas to Arkansas to pick up the trailer. He gets there. My trailer does not fit on his flatbed. That is so bad because they gave him the wrong dimensions of my trailer and so he brought the wrong trailer there. He actually had to go buy a whole new trailer for mine to fit on there. So he needed to go back to Texas. This is why everything took so long. Went back to Texas and had to buy a new trailer that mine would fit on. That's when I ended up firing the other company. I'm like, you even gave him the wrong dimensions. They're like, no, 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 no. He just brought the wrong one. You, you literally 
gave him like I had proof of an email of them telling him my trailer was smaller than it was even though I gave them the correct dimensions <sighs> It's ridiculous. Maybe we'll just call him Bill. That wasn't his name, but we'll just call him that. So Bill had to drive back home, get a new trailer, come back, pick up the trailer. I'm on the phone with Mark. He's keeping me in the loop. He's making sure he gets it on there right. It's secure, all that, blah, blah, blah. The trailer's on the way. It should probably only have taken like four or five days with him not driving 80 miles an hour. But since I'm not saying his name, I can tell you the truth about what happened. He ended up driving too fast, which you're not supposed to do with that kind of trailer. There's too many machines inside that are too sensitive and they can break picture like a flatbed with another trailer on top like every time you hit a bump it like bounces twice if you know what i'm saying so everything inside is getting shaken to the max you really only should drive 60 miles an hour with the trailer plumbing there's electricity machines all of that it's just super sensitive he was driving 80 which is the speed limit in a car not when you're hauling a trailer that's expensive so <sighs> We had damage. It wasn't too bad, but I would get calls and Bill wouldn't even tell me directly. He would call Mark, which I'm like, I'm glad that Mark is still helping us. It was frustrating for me because I felt like I wasn't even in, even involved in my own property. Like this is my trailer, my business. And he would call the other guy because he thought I would be mad. And I'm like, I'm not mad. I just don't want you to crash. And apparently he was driving too fast, which he wasn't gonna own up to. That's what Mark ended up telling. He was driving 80 miles an hour. Both the signs flew off the side and went on the side of the highway. We lost a light and a couple other things fell off the side. He just said like, oh, the signs just flew off. I'm like, well, why did they fly off? Mark was kind of on his butt about that. Like, dude, you need to slow down. This thing cannot go that fast. I'm getting like all the third wave news, which was just all so annoying. I was like, if the signs fell off, like, for one, I'm grateful they didn't hit any other cars and hurt anybody else. Two, slow down. Stop going so fast. It just made me so nervous. But anyway, he also ended up not being so great at communicating. And I just want to know a daily update. If you can't make it because there's snow, like, that's fine. Just tell me, hey, I'm not going to make it today. I'll make it tomorrow at 9 a.m. But this is the deal. I still had three part-time jobs back then. And I wasn't just home all day to receive the trailer. So I needed to know when he was coming. I had to schedule off work. I felt so bad for my coworkers because I kept being like, okay, the trailer's supposed to come today. Can I get this day off so that I can be there? And they were like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Like, it was just hard because I had to involve other people and he didn't get that and he was getting frustrated with me. And I'm like, I'm not mad. You just need to tell me like when ahead of time if you're gonna make it or not gonna make it. Because one day he literally told me I'll be there by 1 p.m. So I had someone coming in for me at 12, it's 11.30. And I just said, hey, I'm just confirming, are you an hour and a half away? And he goes, I forgot what the name of the city is, but he goes, no, I'm in blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you're kidding, you're kidding. I looked up that place and it was 12 hours away from me. So you're not gonna be here by one, obviously. So then I had to text my coworker and say, I'm so sorry, he's not coming in today. And that went on for at least a week if not more it probably was a week and a half it took him to get here if not two weeks and i was getting so frustrated but i couldn't like fire him he had my trailer you know like i needed it to get here he was literally 12 hours away and i'm like well are you gonna be here tonight like are you gonna just finish the drive and he goes probably not i'm like okay so when will you be here tomorrow he goes i don't know so i'd call him he wouldn't answer and it just was like on and on and on and on like that just ridiculous fast forward in time that went on for a while and eventually one day he would tell me a time every day and he wouldn't come. So I eventually stopped believing him, but I always had, I ended up going to work, but telling someone I might need you to come in. So people were always on backup. But anyway, one day he ended up apparently telling the truth. I literally was at home and wasn't counting on him coming because he never came every day. He told me time. He told me he was going to come at like 2 p.m. one day and I call him at 1.30 and I'm like, hey, are you 30 minutes away? He goes, well, I'm five minutes away. I was like, when were you gonna tell me? Like, what if I wasn't home? He didn't even know I had my shift covered or anything. He just wasn't very considerate, which I know that's not everyone's strong suit. We ended up meeting him in a parking lot of a store where my mom comes with me. Garrett ends up meeting us there because it's a very exciting time. But also like, I'm kind of a realist and like, I was very excited, but at the same time, I'm like, this guy has been so frustrating this whole time and like setting everything behind because I had like a schedule on when it was supposed to be there and like when I was gonna do my inspections, all of that, and he had come so late and then he was just kind of, he was just kind of an ass to be honest. It was just really frustrating for me to like interact with him. I'm professional and I was being nice, but um, he's unloading the thing and it takes him a long time. So he even told me like I didn't need to be there the whole time, but I'm like, mm, this is my baby and I'm too paranoid watching you unload this because he has this big flatbed trailer. It literally was probably 50 feet long. My trailer's only 14. 
with the tongue and he's unloading it off of the ramps and he kept going back and forth between it was a new trailer he normally would have like the pulley system or whatever where it would just release it down slowly but it was a new trailer so it didn't have that yet so he had the blocks behind the tires and then had a, a chain in the front that he had to like manually like loosen one by one so he would do like ch ch loosen it and then go to the back and move the block he would go back and forth and do that and it literally went on for about an hour and a half to two hours and i'll insert you guys actually saw all of that us getting the trailer took him so long which is great because he was taking his time and <laughs> then oh uh, my mom was there with me garrett had left because he had to go back to work i'm watching him get so low he literally in the back which isn't his fault just the length of the trailer and everything and the angles it was like scraping on the bottom and i was like just kind of dying inside looking at that but there was no other way to get it off towards the bottom he's like oh it'll level out it'll level out and the dude forgot to put the blocks behind the tires and literally dropped the trailer like three feet and it crushed the front <laughs> so i just was like oh my gosh and my mom laughed just because she's one of those people that laughs in inappropriate times and she was like, that sounded bad. I was like, that is really bad. That's really bad. And I was trying not to be mad because it was already very frustrating. And by this point, it's like mid-January. And I'm like, now we have to fix this thing. Which I had thought at the time was the worst thing. But it gets even worse. So just wait. And I walk up to him and I was like, so what, what happened? And he's like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. You can have my insurance and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, it's not my fault. And which like it was, it literally was his fault. I wasn't mad because I'm like, okay, he just made a mistake. Just this whole time, this guy was so flaky. I'm not even convinced that his insurance was legit. We had a piece of paper, but it's like, people would probably ask, why didn't you just call his insurance and have them fix it? We ended up fixing it ourselves because two things the guy was super difficult to even get in contact with he was super frustrating to talk to we have a handyman friend of ours that my dad's friends with and he ended up fixing it and for way cheaper than it would have even like cost it wouldn't have even been worth it to contact his insurance is the point so it took labor and stuff for us to fix it and materials and it was frustrating it's like this nice front was like crumpled just like paper other than that everything else looked really good i'm trying to end this really quickly and then i'm gonna make a new video about everything else that's been happening that at the very end he'd given us a quote like in the very beginning and then when i went to go sign that i had received it or whatever he was like oh so i lied about the price not lied he said he made a mistake and tried to charge us another thousand dollars and i was like yeah no and he's like well this is what it should have been worth and I was like, no, you just dropped my trailer. Like, I'm not giving you the other thousand dollars. We went on our merry way and he was like, fine, fine, fine. Like, I dropped it. You're, you're good. I don't blame you for not paying me. That was kind of the end of that. So that essentially is just the story of why it took so long to get it here. And then we ended up having to fix all those things. We had to get new signs because they were messed up from falling on the freeway. He still had them, but they were like, and we had to fix the whole front, kind of like reframe the front because he dropped it and it crumpled like paper. And that was taking like, you know, a while to fix. All of that has just been very frustrating, but it even gets more frustrating after that. And I'm going to make another video to talk about everything with the inspections and health and L&I and all of that. But this was just the shipping. I don't think I ever want to ship anything else in my life. I will literally drive and go get it myself. I am not shipping it. The whole point of, sh the reason we shipped it is because I was working so much at the time. I was barely able to pay bills regardless. I couldn't take time off and go spend money on a hotel and all that stuff. So it was actually cheaper to ship it and was supposed to save us time. But that ended up not being true. It was cheaper, but it not really because time is money. And we spent so long just even trying to get it there. And I ended up losing money by paying that first company. So shipping is not a good experience unless there's a better company but yeah that's what happened with that if you guys are wondering why it took so long also if you're not following salted road coffee on instagram you should and keep up with updates we are like nearly nearly open which it seems like this is like the longest process ever everyone that watches our story but it, there's just always stuff but i've learned a lot so i will give you guys an update on the other stuff in the next video but i hope you enjoyed this and if you have any other questions about anything or comments or concerns or whatever you want to say as long as you're not mean, put it down below and I'll try to respond to you and I will see you guys in the next video.